Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 47 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here and it shows a relationship between, we've got our input numbers right here and we've got output numbers right here. And we're putting them through a machine and we're trying to find which machine our answer A, B, C, or D shows this relationship. So something happens to our input to become our output. So let's just take a look at what they give us here. So like on this first one, we will look at it like this. We'll put in this one. That's our very first input. And we'll add 200 to it and we'll see if we get our output. It should theoretically be 251, right? Or if we were to put in our input of 2, should theoretically be 252. That's how that works. So let's try it. Let's do 1 plus 200. And most of us can do that mentally. But if not, we can go ahead and just line it up like this. But that's going to be 201. We're looking for 251. So let's just double check to make sure that our 200, it's not going to work with the second one either. That's 202. Should be 252. So this is not going to work because this needs to be greater. I need something a little bit bigger than 200 because I was supposed to get 251. I only got 201. I was supposed to get 252. I only got 202. Now, this one doesn't work. B, if just looking at it, and you're like, why would obviously 1 minus 1, that's going to equal 0, right? And 2 minus 1, that equals 1. That's not even anywhere close. But you know what they did here is they actually flipped this. So this is why they put this as an incorrect answer choice. Take a look at our output. What if we put our output out here? 251. Well, if we did 251 minus 1, well, that's going to get us 250. So that's a little bit closer. But even then, that doesn't really get us what we need to. So I'm not sure what they're wanting us to do with this. Maybe they're thinking it goes this way, right? Like if you're going from the bottom up, 254 minus 1 is 253, and 253 minus 1 is 252, and so on. But that's not how input-output works. You have to go from the input to the output. You have to go side to side. So... That doesn't work either. And let's try C. Well, this we were looking at A and it didn't work. We need something bigger. Let's see what this 250 works. Supposed to input 1. Remember, we're looking for 251. Supposed to enter 2. Supposed to get 252. Let's see if that works. So we've got, let's just go ahead and line it up. 250 plus that 1 that's input. 251. Check. So 250 plus our 2 input is, yes, 252. And we can visually see that if we do a 250 all the way down as our number machine, we are definitely going to get what we're looking for. We just take our input and we add 250. So let's just double check D. D, well, D is kind of like B. Look at that. B is minus 1. D is plus 1. So why would they give us that? Well, if you look up and down like this, a plus 1 works either on the input side or it actually works on the output side if you're looking from the top down to the bottom. But once again, that doesn't work because on our input output, we need to go side to side because our input and output is side to side. So we're supposed to put input 1 and get 251 and that doesn't work. So our answer here is going to be C plus 250.